everybody welcome to this tutorial this tutorial is going to be looking at projection projector central.com and their throw calculator and how to use it for home mapping and I'm I'm going to say residential mapping because uh, there is a blur between the, the residential the hobbyists and the professional level so this is really looking at the home hobbyists and how to use this to decide which projector they need and to have concrete measurements of where they need to uh, do some placements so that is the whole point of today's quick tutorial so I'm going to start off by bringing up a house and on this house it's just a demo house it has two measurements these are the two measurements that you're going to need to do so before you even get to the website I need you to go outside with your measuring tape and I need you to measure from the edge to the edge of what you want to project on so for this house here I'm going to pr project from this corner actually I would probably do this corner right here all the way to this corner right here and I'm choosing these corners just because it is nice and symmetrical uh, because I'm OCD like that and uh, because back here there's not a ton of usable space here but who knows maybe the angle and everything it would really work out well uh, but for this instance I'm just going to go from this corner to this corner so I have my first measurement here and that measurement came out to 45 feet now don't quote me on this and try to analyze it I really just made up that measurement okay I estimated it same thing with this roof now usually I will estimate this um, this measurement just because it's a pain to measure straight up like that so this measurement have it exact this measurement you can you can round it a little bit usually what I'll do is I'll give about 10 feet or 8 to 10 feet per story so here this would be like eight feet up and let's just round it to 10 I'd rather be over and then going up the second story now this peak looks pretty high that's why I jumped all the way up to 30 feet because it's above and beyond if you wanted to use this um, you would probably want to do more of an exact measurement um, but I would probably just measure up to the top of this because I think uh, this would be plenty of space just for this house so I'm doing a nice quick rust rough estimate of 30 feet knowing that just to do this I really need a minimum of like 20 feet here all right so I have 45 feet and my rough estimate of 30 feet these are the big measurements that you need to get in so let's go ahead and let's do the next measurement which you could do after but since you're out there already with measuring tape let's do that next measurement and that measurement is this part and so you're going from the very face of the house or face of the screen and you are going to measure straight out now you'll see that I have two black lines here and <clears throat> this was done for a reason my first black line I'm taking all the way to the road now this person has a huge front yard which is really nice for mapping um, and I have this second measurement here all the way to this tree which is an obstacle so the reality is I'm most likely going to try to place my projector right in the center in the front of the house and once I get to this tree anywhere past this tree starts becoming an obstacle which I would have to avoid so I'll just get the measurement from here which looking at this is a nice space so a short throw projector should totally work in this area if you're going for a long throw you want to try to save some money um, you can do this measurement and just kick it off to the side a little bit until it would not affect um, be affected by this tree but anyway this is that next measurement that you're going to need so you have three measurements the measurement of your yard the measurement of the face of the screen that you're going to use and the height these this and the yard measurement have to be exact this one you can kind of fluff it a little bit 
So let's go to Projector Central now that we have our measurements. I'm going into the throw calculator and you have two different options here. You have Choose Projector, which is the one that I recommend using. And then you have the Search by Throw Distance Screen Size, and this is the one that's gonna drop your jaw and make you quit. So let's start with this one. I'm assuming that at this point, you're like, if you're actually looking at a projector, you did some research here because you know you're going to be dropping a couple hundred at a minimum for a projector. So with your research, you probably were looking and seeing what projectors people were using. And I would say um, there's you know quite a few, but I would say one of the number one projectors at this point in the US is the Optima 1090. So Optima GT 1090 HDR. That's one of the top ones that people are going for at this point. The, I would say the 1080 HDR is another one of the top ones. This is another great one. So there's a lot of great projectors there, but let's just go with this 1090 because it has that 0.5 ratio, which is a pretty standard short throw. So I chose my projector. The next step that I'm going to do is go over here to units because I'm pretty sure you didn't measure your house in inches. So I'm going to change my units for my uh, throw distance. That's still in feet. I'm going to go over to feet for image sizes. For my guys across the pond, if you want to go over to the uh, system, that honestly makes a lot more sense. Then you can go to the meters if you want. You're welcome. I'm an American and I agree with you. Meters, I like. All right, but anyway, feet. <clears throat> so I measured my house, our example house, and we came up with 45 feet. So I'm going to type 45 in here, which brings us to 45 feet. The next thing you wanna do is make sure that this says width, not diagonal, which a lot of times it will default to. Uh, so make sure that says width. What this just did is this part of the screen down here going across the face of your house is 45 feet. Now it already has the through ratio in here and now it gave you a ton of more uh, measurements. So taking a look, this measurement is the one that we input. This is the height of the house here, so 25 feet. So we needed at least 20 feet to cover over those peaks of the face and we were estimating about 30 feet for the roof. So this is where I see that it's pretty close. Um, so I would want to do a full measure to see if that the whole roof is feasible. But even if not, that is great. So now I'm looking at 22 feet, six inches is the throw distance. This is telling me how far out into our yard I'm going to have to place the projector. To get 45 feet across at a minimum, I need 22 feet, six inches. This, now you have all of the information that you need to get moving. You can see, is this ratio going to work? Do I have 22 feet to play with or do I not? Do I have 15 feet? So let's say maybe, ugh, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine, but let's say I only had like 18 feet to work with. So 18 feet to work with, now I have to go back to the drawing board because if I get it all the way pushed back there, I only have 36 feet that I can actually work with, with my screen. So that's where I'm going to start to need to make some hard choices on what would 36 feet look like? Would I have to cut out this side? Is it even worth it at this point? Can I pull it back at an angle? So this throw calculator gives you a lot of ammo that you can use. Let's say I want to look at the height. I want to make sure that I have that 30 feet. So if I go 30 feet, this 53 feet across will be perfect. That's more than I need. And do I have 27 feet out in the yard to play with? So this is how you use the throw calculator. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what projector you choose here, as long as you choose this 0.5 uh, throw ratio, which is the standard short throw ratio. All right, so here are the two things that will th freak people out. 
on this screen the thing that freaks people out who says this projector it won't work that's because they go down here and it says in bright red reduced image size image brightness is too low so because we brought this so far back the image brightness is going to be too low why is this coming out here well this is coming out here because you're right it's going to look a lot lower than what the manufacturer recommends the manufacturer wants your projector pretty close up there so the pixel size is perfect the lightness there the uh, the image brightness is perfect but when we start bringing it out and taking a like home theater projector and projecting on an entire house it's not what the manufacturer was thinking when they created this projector they would rather sell you a much more expensive projector so that's where you have to go into the know-how of the groups and I would say 3,500 ANSI lumens, ANSI lumens, is your bare minimum, okay? And you wanna reduce as much ambient light as possible. And you will be okay. You, honestly, you wanna go like 4,000 lumens or above. If you can get all the way up into those 20,000 lumens, that's awesome. But that's expensive. So number one thing that will freak you out, it will say that it's too low and yeah, it's definitely going to be reduced compared to what the manufacturer really wants it to look like. But it will work as long as you are like 4,000 or above depending on what your house looks like and ambient lighting and all that other stuff. Check out my other projector video. The next thing that will freak people out is when they go, oh, I did all my measurements, let's go into here. So it's looking for image size. So I'm going to type in my width and it says inches. So let's see, 45 times 12, that gives me 540. And I'm not some type of genius. You can see I did this earlier. All right, so 540 inches is your 45 feet across. I'm not going to fill out any of this. And then I'm going to hit submit. So this is gonna tell me what projector I will need to cover a 45 foot screen width. And here are some projector options. Look at this Barco, Barco down here. And NA available for price. You know what that means? Way too expensive. Oh, here's a price for you for a Christie, $9,000. This is where people jaws drop. Think about that, $9,000 for 4,200 lumens compared to that one that I had just showed you, which averages out about $1,500, which is a uh, big difference. Let's keep going down once again, too rich for my blood. And then, oh, there you go, another Barco there for $30,000, $28,000. This is what scares people when they get into the Projection Central. You will see that there are very valid prices here and yeah this projector would be awesome this 45 foot width will be covered perfectly by this christie roadster at a mere fifty-five thousand dollars. you will get twenty-two thousand lumens on there which is awesome it will be great and you will have a nice clear resolution as well i mean you can't really get better than that, but you're going to be paying for it. And this is where you get into that pro professional one where they are mapping huge buildings in Europe or the um, casinos in Vegas or things like that. That's not what we're doing. We're trying to throw up some cool pictures, make some kids, kids happy for Christmas and it's not going to look the brightest or clearest here and there, but it's going to do its job. And that's where we're trying to keep you in the reality of going back and looking at this way. So go to search by projector, type in your Optima, and there we go, and do it over here. I'm telling you, this is where you need to be. It won't freak you out and it will be much easier for you to work with. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, oh, 45, I was like, why is that so high? So 45 feet width, this tells you your throw distance, your height that it will cover, 
it is perfect. So that is how you use a projector central throw calculator. I know it was not as short as I was hoping it would be, but honestly, in the first seven minutes, you had enough information that you needed to go with. All right, so thanks for enjoying my ramble. I hope I gave you a lot of information. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I hope I can help make this process as accessible as possible for you guys. Have a great time.